Good morning traders and this is your DAX day trade setup for today. So yesterday's daily gave us yet another green day and as I've been saying most of the week and last week the trend is up, it's very strong to the upside and we should only be looking for longs. So before we get to lower time frames let's have a quick look at the weekly. So this weekly bar at the moment is looking a little tired um, and if it does close pretty much up here on its high in other words, above the previous swing highs where it is now, um, you pretty much have the next target over the next two weeks is the all-time high. So we are not too far away from that. And we also do have a bit of a, a monthly measured move here as well, which would need to play out and uh, looks like it is going to play out so that should give us and probably match the all-time high or a new all-time high but anyway so let's just get down to the low time frames now so at this stage uh, it seems to be a case of rinse and repeat but you can see uh, we have these rallies then we have consolidation then we have a pretty sharp rally consolidation but now we're busy with consolidation again now, if you look from where price is now to the all-time high, that's 2.5% away or 340 points away. So I still believe that that is a distinct possibility at the moment. Okay, maybe not all in one go, but definitely something that you need to watch for. Right, so at the moment we have a potential range or double top. So first thing we need to do is just get our levels in. There's our first level, there's our second level. Okay, now what you'll notice is this range. If we break to the downside, there is a level here. And I will just fine tune that level pretty much onto the previous swing high. And that would be a buying opportunity. So 12.206 would be a buying opportunity for me. This, If this does break the downside, there is a possibility for a short scalp. Not that I want to trade shorts at the moment. Okay, so what we're looking for is a decent pullback. Now we've been waiting for one pretty much through this consolidation. that didn't really materialize. Um, but then we had some uh, political noise again. So all that's happening is we get this political noise and then we go sideways. Then we get more political noise and then we go sideways. So I would expect some more the same. And I think the one thing we do need to take into consideration is that the Americans need to resolve a trade war pretty quickly. They have elections coming up. Um, the Chinese don't really, they've got time on their side. There's no pressure for them. So at this stage, you know, it's all on America. And uh, I suspect that they are going to come to some kind of a conclusion. Because if they don't, uh, who knows what it could do at the polls for Donald Trump. So anyway, uh, looking at the 30 minutes, you can see pretty much one bar, then a, a second bar, and then just sideways. So these are our fractal levels, and I think you need to trade, trade this as a range. So it's long off the bottom, 13.255, and I would keep uh, any trade I take off the bottom here, I'm going to pretty much have a 10 point stop loss. Okay, and my first goal will be the top of the range. Which right, is only 43 points, but that is what we need. Until I get a pretty much a half hour close above the top of the range or a 12 minute close above the top of the range, that's the trade I'm looking for. Okay, so anticipate staying in the in the range. For today, we could break to the downside. If we do break the downside, I'm not taking the shorts. I will wait, and I'll wait for structure. Now, you've got quite a bit of structure to the downside. You've got the swing high, and you've got quite a lot happening pretty much in this area here with a gap. So anything 13206, uh, 13180, uh, or even 
right in the mix here, 13167 would be a good entry. Okay, um, the other thing to bear in mind is if this range does break to the downside, that would also be, uh, I'll just take that as my first target. So this is definitely an area where I'd start climbing in with uh, a wider stop down to the bottom here. And what you want to do is you want to calculate what your your position size is, your full position size from here, the stop there, take a portion of that. If it starts moving back to the upside, then get in with the rest and then move your stop right underneath where your entry is. Um, alternatively, if it does fall down to come and close the gap, your stop is still down here and we start getting positive price action, then load up your full position. So your risk is still the same. Okay, hope that makes sense. Anyway, uh, that's kind of the view that I've got at the moment. These are the two fractals we need to pay attention to. And both of them are valid entries. Uh, just check on the 12, make sure there's nothing. Okay, that's not a fractal. So 12, you do have an additional one up here. But because it's a range, you know, I'm more inclined to just take the long off here and take the profit at the top. Okay, lastly, looking at the 12, you do have a little bit of a channel wedge, whatever you want to call it. But that is a bit of consolidation going into the close. So where we are at the moment, we are down 0.3%. So we are 13229. Yeah, 13228. So right now we are over there. So we're hovering down the bottom here. So pretty much you're going to get a gap down by the looks of things. And we're waiting for a long in this area here. Okay, so don't be too fixated on the gap. The gap is possible, but rather look at the structure. And if you look here, you can see there's a 200 EMA coming up to this level as well, uh, the 13206. And we're going to look at the Ichimoku now to see if there's anything else we can see there. But that's kind of what we're looking for. Okay, so we're assuming that there's a gap down already at the moment. So the open is going to be somewhere in this area here. Should run down to find some support, either the uh, 13206 or in the 13182 13167 area. Let's just quickly move across to Ichimoku. Okay, so this is bearish at the moment. And you can see here there's a flat Kijinson here as well. So there's our first level. Let's just get our second level in there. There's our second level. Okay, so those are the two levels we need to pay attention to. So there's flat Kijinson here, nothing else. Um, the 12 minute is bearish, bearish, and we have a twist. So there's three bearish signals there. If we look at the 30 minutes, not quite bearish at the moment. Um, this would line up with a cloud as well, so there should be some support here. The one hour. By the looks of things, Kijinson is going to be up here, which is going to hold up price somewhere along the line. And we are looking at pretty much the same scenario. We've got uh, 13205, 13206, and then we have 13168. That's still the areas that we need to pay attention to. And the four hour, which is extremely bullish still, but you can see we've got Tikinson here. Kijinson is far away at the moment. Okay, and the other thing that is pretty clear at the moment is this downward trend line. I just want to put in where price is at the moment. Okay, so price is pretty much sitting here on the 4 hour candle, so we should be pretty much on the trend line at the moment. Okay, and you can see this is also a daily swing high. Now, daily, the trend is up. There's absolutely no reason to get out of this. 
and what I'm expecting is this middle line here which is 12205 is the Brooks gap so it wouldn't surprise me to see a bit of a see this area tag find some support and then move to the upside okay now that's kind of my view at the moment the trend is up we should be looking for pullbacks and we should be looking to get into this market um, as it stands now you are more than likely looking at 13205 as your first entry and then you've definitely got another opportunity down at 13170 area but this it's so messy here that it, it could pick up uh, so basically what you're going to see let's go to the 30 minutes so what you're going to see is these tails here are going to offer buyers before the gap that's why i said don't get fixated on the gap yes you may get the gap closed but rather scale yourself in first bit of the first position here stop below this swing low here don't try and take this one here okay because that's still cloud in this area okay so you want to be sort of below this cloud so i'll take it over here okay so 13130 13, areas where your stop is so you need to calculate that position correctly okay anyway guys that's my view for today um expecting a bit of a gap down and then looking for an opportunity to buy hope that helps and uh, i will catch up with you next week enjoy the weekend cheers for now